the most common problem we always hear here is that you turn your razor on and you twist the throttle and all you get is a click. The wheel doesn't go and that's what this one does. Um, and I'm going to have to get really close so you can hear the click, but uh, let me try that. So that is just a relay inside there clicking. And um, now the first cause of this, the first thing you need to check is your batteries. Um, what will happen is these things have a low voltage cutoff. Uh, right there, you can see 20 and a half volts. So if you're under 21 volts on your batteries, your scooter's not gonna go. So um, the tool we advise everyone to have is a multimeter. And it, basically anyone will have a DC voltage setting. You wanna put it to that and you wanna go and I've already kind of moved these batteries around just for easy access, but you want to find this connector with the thick red and black that's coming from your battery. And you want to actually check at the controller side, the voltage, um, just in case one of these pins in here is broken, you want to make sure it's coming through. Um, you go the black into the black probe, you put the red into the red probe. And as you can see, we only have 13 volts. And as I said before, you should have at least 21 fully charged batteries. You should really have about 25. Um, so right away, we can see the problem with this scooter is the batteries. One thing I'll also mention, um, because the batteries go through the circuit breaker here um, on these models, some models have a circuit breaker, some the batteries are connected together with a fuse right at the battery. Um, but either way, uh, if you add zero volts, it could be a blown fuse, it could be the circuit breaker, you obviously can try to press it and reset it, but if that doesn't work, that might be your problem. And we'll show you that after we get these batteries out. All right, so we got the batteries out and uh, if they were one of the batteries with a fuse, I assume you know how to see if the fuse is blown, but um, for this- Basically the it's the same as a circuit breaker. Yeah, but uh, for a circuit breaker, you, you're gonna have to pull the, ter the uh, terminals off of the circuit breaker. And all we're doing is checking for continuity. We've switched the multimeter to the continuity setting, and we're gonna put one probe on one terminal and one on the other. And as you can hear, you can hear that little beep. That means we have continuity. That means our circuit breaker is good. If you didn't hear that, if you had zero ohms, then possible your circuit breaker is bad. Just order one from Wild Scooter Parts. So the next thing we're gonna check, uh, we're actually gonna get a fresh set of batteries in here so you can see it working. So if you had very low batteries like this scooter did, then you probably wanna check your charger too. These um, usually will just stop lighting up if they're not working, but uh, we can show you how to do that if you got a multimeter real quick. You basically just need to plug your charger in and why is it not lighting? Oh, there it is. It takes a second. And really, um, you want to take your multimeter probes again. You want to go to voltage. Do not go to continuity. That's very important. Um, now the two pins that are directly horizontal to each other, and actually this doesn't really even have another metal pin, is where you want to insert your probes very carefully. And as you can see, you got 28, 29 volts coming out of this charger. So this charger works. So that was not the problem for this guy. So let's talk about what to check if you don't hear that click. If you don't hear that click, it means power is not even getting to the control box. Uh, maybe you got a broken wire, broken, uh, broken um, circuit breaker like we just talked about, or it could even be your power switch. And obviously if your power switch lights up like this one does, then it's pretty much working. But let's say it wasn't lighting up and you wanted to check it. Um, we just got one off the shelf of ours. Let's put it in the off position. And again, you're gonna use your multimeter on the continuity setting. Hopefully yours beeps. Uh, you're gonna put, oh, one thing to note about these power switches, they always had three terminals. One is always a different color. That is the ground for the light. You're not checking that. You're always checking the two that are the same color. You're gonna put your terminals on it and the switch is in the off position so we don't hear anything. We're gonna switch it on, do it again. And there we go, it's beeping. So we know this is a good switch now. And that's how you check a power switch. 
Now we got the new batteries hooked up, but let's say uh, you have your good batteries. It's still not working. Okay, one of the first things to, I would do in this situation is disconnect anything from the controller that's not needed. And on anything that's not any 100, anything E200 and up like this, really all you need is the power, the motor, and the throttle going into this. So we're gonna disconnect everything else. We're gonna disconnect this little red and black, which is the charging port, just in case that's somehow screwing something up. We're also going to disconnect this one, red and black, with a three, uh, three slot connector. That is your brake. And actually, if that is somehow shorted and stuck together, it will cause that exact problem as well. So now all we have connected is the throttle right here, the batteries right here, and the motor right here. And we're gonna turn it on. And voila, everything works. Now you could actually go trial by error and say, plug back in your brake and if it wasn't working, then you know what your problem is. Now, let's say you've disconnected all those and still you get nothing. Well, I guess the next thing I would test is the throttle. There's not a whole lot that can be left after this, controller and motor, basically. So what, if you have a multimeter, what you want to do is disconnect your throttle. And this is the coming from the throttle here with the orange and the brown. And this throttle is going to make a, a connection on each pair of those. Move this out of the way so they yeah. can see a little bit better. It's going to make a connection on each co different colored pair of wires. So on orange, it should make a connection when you twist it. Let's see. Yep, got the beep. And then on the brown pair, it should do the same. And it does. But I'm gonna show you something cool. Let's just say you don't have a multimeter and you wanna check out if your throttle is the problem. All right, so if you don't have a multimeter and you wanna check if your throttle works or not, you can actually use a couple of these guys. And if you bend them up in the way I kinda of have here, um, you can use it to simulate a throttle. You'll need two of them because, uh, as we showed before, there's a pair of orange and a pair of brown that gets connected to each other. Um, and basically, it's connecting one of these yellow wires to the wire next to it. So yellow to red, yellow to green. I've already put the one in. You can't put them both in and then turn it on, um, but you can have one in ahead of time. So let's turn it on. And also on. probably be careful not to... Uh, you know, go across and touch the other one because I don't know what will happen if you do. Um, but now we're just going to use this to connect those other two terminals. And as you can see, it works. So if your scooter wasn't working with the throttle, but it worked doing that, then, well, your throttle's bad. Order a new one from Wild Scooter Parts. Okay, so if you've done all that, there's really only two things left that it could be, and that is the controller or the motor. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's rarely the motor, but there is an easy way to test that. If you've got a spare 12-volt battery laying around like we happen to, or um, you can, you know, access the terminals of one of the batteries in your packs if they turned out to be good, and you're going to need a couple jumper leads, all right? And you're going to want to hook your red um, up to your red, of course. Do this side. And I'm trying to remember which one of these is which. I'm pretty sure the blue is the positive. So you're going to want to hook your blue. That's hard to get in there. To that. And then your black. And honestly, I'm just going to touch it through here real quick and the motor should start to spin. There you go. So, you know your motor's good. I mean, if it sounds awful, maybe it is bad, but this motor's good. So at this point, really the only thing that's left is the controller. That's not really something you can test. We can test them. Um, I mean, the only way to test them would be to swap it to another scooter, but it's known to work. But at this point, if you've tested all these other things, the only thing it could be is the controller. So order one from Wild Scooter Parts.